And definitely that early October like feel there across upper Michigan with temperatures in the 40s and 50s along with the rain showers we're seeing here on our local three radar network. You can see we do have rain extending from Marquette back westward towards 141 from Barriga, Lance, Covington and then southward towards Crystal Falls. And as I zoom on in here into the western portions of the UP, we can see that we do have the rain showers. Like I said, Marquette County, even into the city of Marquette, Nagani, Ishwaming, and then we actually have some more steadier rain, more noticeable rain, let's call it from Lots and Barriga southward along 141 and 41 M28 here and then eventually 141 back towards Crystal Falls. We do have some more steadier noticeable rain and we're going to keep some rain showers in the forecast tonight. Clouds still intact and we still have some cloud cover back to the west, but eventually high pressure builds on in and this is really what's going to clean up the atmosphere as we go into the daytime tomorrow, especially west of here. And then as we go into tomorrow, we will start to see some clearing. It's just going to be at a slow pace. Temperature are in the 40s and 50s. We have 48 degrees for Sawyer, 54 for Escanaba, 52 for Manistique, 48 for Newberry, and we also have 45 degrees for Houghton. Now let's look at our temperatures forecast here, and we also have clouds and precipitation here on our local three future cast. For tonight, we're going to keep some rain showers around along with cloud cover. Look for low temperatures tonight to be in the 30s, 40s though as you get closer to the Great Lakes shorelines. For the most part, we will stay all rain, but maybe a snowflake or two out in the interior west, but I really wouldn't count on a snowflake tonight. I think we're just going to stay all rain. Tomorrow morning you can still see the clouds do hang tough across our area and then as we get into tomorrow afternoon this is where the slow clearing process starts. You can see we do get into some sunshine across the eastern UP and then also across the interior west but across Marquette County especially the higher terrain back into Barrica County and even into the Keweenaw Peninsula there is a chance tomorrow afternoon we could hang on to the clouds and the cloud cover and that might knock down temperatures a degree or to, but still look for high temperatures around 50 or into the 50s. Tomorrow night remains dry, quiet. Good news for the high school football games tomorrow night. And then as we go into Saturday, next storm system moves in with rain and also gusty winds. Highs on Saturday in the 50s. Here's your extended forecast. We're looking at temperatures back into the 50s tomorrow. Slow process clearing as we go into the daytime on Friday. And the clouds, like I said, might hang tough across Marquette and Barriga counties and even in the Keweenaw Peninsula. Back to the rain and gusty winds for Saturday highs in the 50s and then Sunday might be shaping up to be a windy day with some rain showers. Highs in the 50s, some spots may jump into the 60s and the strongest winds on Sunday if they were out of the west and it does pan on out would be in the Keweenaw Peninsula where we could have some wind gusts maybe between 40 and possibly knocking on the door of 50 miles per hour. We'll just have to wait and see how that all pans on out. Monday we're back to at least some sunshine highs in the 50s along with lighter winds on Monday and then look at that. We get a nice little October warm up as we go into the middle part of next week along with mainly dry conditions. Look for afternoon high temperatures for next Tuesday and also Wednesday to be back in the 60s. On the water tonight, we're looking at small craft conditions for your fishing on shot marine forecast. Waves on Lake Superior about four to six feet. Lake Michigan one to three feet. You can always get your latest weather forecast on our website. I didn't